so it asks uh, suppose you walk oh, so let me start doodling uh, with the start um, I guess because it's talking about west and north oh and it's talking about this some kind of axis to the right um <laughs> I'm going to assume because this is a quite a bit of a common convention I'm going to assume this is how our axis should be that up should be north probably and down should be south and if that's how our axis is then to the right should be um, it should be to the oh, I'm forgetting my cardinal point so right is east and left is west. I think that's right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. So I think when they say plus x to the right, I, I'm going to assume that this means uh, right is east. Okay, uh, but that should really be fixed, I think. But my axis is set, so I'll uh, work out an answer, assuming all of that is the case, and somehow if the thing says it's wrong, then I know what to flip around so that I guess I can uh, change my initial assumption. So he says, suppose you walk 22 meters straight. So I'm just going to uh, label this as um, x1. So 22 meters straight to the west. So I'm going to walk the distance of x1 to the west. And then it says 11 meters. I'm going to call this y1 straight north. So this is y1. So I'm here. It says, answer all questions, assuming the, um, yeah, okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, th this is the point where you are at. The coordinate for that would be x1 and y1. Or, um, so I like to do this where uh, I try to keep all my variables positive. So x1 will say is plus 22 meters. So for me to be perfectly correct here, I should say, my uh, x coordinate here is minus x1. Um, the main thing I would uh, watch, ask people to watch out for is consistency. Um, so this is how I like to do it. If you want to do it different way, then that's fine. As long as you know what you're doing and you're consistent. Uh, let me take this and blow it up so that I can draw better. So we have the point there and it's asking how far are you from your starting point? And even though the question doesn't ask you to, I want you to imagine a triangle because it, it's a, how we figure out how we are going to figure out all these quantities that they are asking us for. So this is the triangle. This is the right triangle that I want you to consider. That's what you study in trigonometry. So when they're asking you how far are you from your starting point, they are asking you for this distance d, and you look at this right triangle with the legs x1 and y1. And I hope that you remember Pythagorean theorem, which says that the hypotenuse d squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. So x1 squared plus y1 squared. Or um, working this out, my d should be square root of x1 squared plus y1 squared. And because we are squaring these numbers, it doesn't really matter if this is negative or positive. I'm just going to plug it in a positive and it'll be fine. So that's going to be distance. Where it asks, what is your displacement vector? So it's asking you for this uh, mathematical object as a vector quantity. And in terms of these unit vectors, x hat and y hat, and unit vectors you imagine as um, um, vector of length one pointing in the direction of positive x and positive y. So with the y direction, I think you'll just be okay saying it's going to be 11 meters or y1, uh, y hat meter. That's going to take care of the y component. The x component, you have to take care of it going in the other direction. So you need a minus sign. You need to say it's a minus 22 meter x hat. And all this expression, it looks like a um, algebraic expression. This meter that's out here, you can imagine distributing it to each of the uh, terms in here. So it's minus 22 meter x hat, 11 meter y hat, if a meter was distributed in here. So I 
think that's all good. Uh, read the chapter two <laughs> if you need to. Um, I think this could be the first class where we formally introduce vectors. I don't know if uh, there are other math classes that talk about vectors before physics 4a. So uh, read the chapter two where we do talk about vectors quite a bit. Um, this was the two minute version of that. Uh, what is the direction of your displacement? Um, oh, okay. So, all right. Um, so I need to read this carefully here. So it says some degrees relative to the plus X axis. Oh, this being the plus X axis, it's uh, asking for this angle here. Now, it's a bit of a challenge. Um, so <laughs> there are formulas you can look up, which might say, oh, theta is arc tangent of y over x. Now, if you were trying to use formulas like this, you won't get the right answer because um, plugging in y's and x, even with all this sign, will give you a negative angle, which then you need to figure out <laughs> how that relates to the angle. This is what I recommend. I really do recommend, this is something that you are going to do a lot in this class, which is drawing this right triangle. Um, so <laughs> I recommend that you draw this right triangle and label the angles that you can figure out and the angle that they're asking you for. So here I see that uh, this big uh, obtuse angle theta, I don't have a way to get at it in quick one step. What I can instead do is I can figure out this angle here, this acute angle phi. Once I figure out this angle, I see that theta plus phi adds up to 180 degrees. So I will say after figuring out phi, whatever theta I need is going to be 180 degrees minus the phi that I'm going to figure out. And to figure out phi, you use that so ka <laughs> toa that hopefully you learned in your geometry slash trigonometry class. So, um, I guess here the easiest thing to use is a toa. Tangent of the angle is the opposite over the adjacent. So I can write down uh, tangent of V is opposite Y1 over the adjacent. And I'm going to put in X1 as a positive quantity. And when I do that, I'm going to get positive acute angle. That's exactly what I expect. And I can then go through this to get the angle that they're looking for. So let me go th finish up this calculation, plug in the uh, numbers and <laughs> make sure I got it right because <laughs> I do occasionally get it wrong. <laughs> Always good to check. So let me do it here. I'm gonna, um, let me do the calculation of the things inside the um, square root first. So it's gonna be parenthesis, um, x1 squared, 22 squared plus x2 squared, or sorry, y1 squared, 11 squared. So close parenthesis, that's this whole quantity. Take the square root. So that's gonna be my d, uh, 24 point, um, I guess six zero. Um, for most of the questions, if you give three significant figures, you should be fine. Uh, do let me know if somehow, if you're not fine after having kept the three significant figures. So 24.6. Um, 24.6 meters, 60 meters technically. Okay, uh, the direction of displacement, so that's gonna be, oh, oh, I <laughs> didn't finish it here. Um, so what I need this as is arc, uh, so using the inverse trig function, what I need is a phi is arc tangent of y1 over x1. And I'm just plugging in positive numbers. I already figured out all the directions and all the potentially complicated stuff. I did it separately. So I want y1 over x1, so 11 over 22. Wait, could I? No, I don't think I could have done that in my head. I mean, this I could have, but the next thing I couldn't have done it in my head. So arc tangent, so trigonometry, second inverse tangent. Yeah and 26.57 or 26.6 6 degrees. Oh wait, so 26.6, uh, uh, that's gonna be 
it's going to be phi. So phi will be 26.6 degrees. So for theta, I need to do one more step. Let me just store this into memory and do 180 degrees minus the memory recall. So 153.4 degrees. 153.4 degrees. Okay, let's uh, plug it in and make sure I didn't miss anything and we'll end the session here. Um, 24.6 minus 22, 11, 153.4. Okay. And uh, let me, oh wait, oh, wait, submit button didn't go away. Okay, uh, let me just try this out. Um, I wanna try, what, what does it say if I do minus 26.6? Does it have a specific feedback? Oh, it doesn't. Never mind. Uh, sometimes the feedback will tell you when it looks like you've gotten an answer wrong and it's a kind of small predictable mistake. Sometimes they'll tell you, yeah, are you in the correct quadrant? <laughs> yeah, okay.